When troubleshooting SHA direct receiver issues, understand that every working receiver needs exactly two things to function properly. First, you need a strong signal from the satellite. Second, your receiver must be authorized by SHA direct with an active account. Let's start with signal strength. You can check this through your receiver's system status screen. Signal strength is measured on a scale where readings in the 90s are ideal. Above 85 shows as green and is good. Below 65 appears red and will likely cause reception issues. You can check your signal strength through the system status screen using your SHA remote. Professional signal meters like this one can also help technicians diagnose signal issues. Now let's address authorization issues. Even with perfect signal strength, your receiver won't work without proper authorization from SHA Direct. Authorization means your account is active and your specific receiver is registered with SHA Direct. Without this, channels won't display even with perfect signal strength. To refresh your receiver's authorization, you can use the SHA Direct website, call customer service, or simply unplug your receiver for 30 to 60 seconds and plug it back in. Remember, both strong signal and proper authorization are essential. Check your signal strength first, then verify your account status and refresh if needed. When troubleshooting weak signals, your first step should be checking your coaxial cable. Shaw Direct has specific cable requirements that are critical for proper signal transmission. Shaw Direct requires RG6 or higher rated coaxial cable. RG59 cable may work temporarily but can burn out and cause signal problems. The difference is in the cable's ability to carry high-frequency signals over long distances. Ensure all connections are secure and properly made. Replace any splitters with female F connectors for optimal signal transmission. Loose connections are a common cause of intermittent signal issues. A clear line of sight between your satellite dish and the satellite is essential for proper signal reception. Any obstructions in this path can cause signal disruption or complete loss. Common obstructions include trees, buildings, snow accumulation on the dish, and even temporary obstacles like construction equipment. The Fresnel zone around the signal path must also remain clear for optimal reception. If cable and line of sight checks don't resolve the issue, try a simple receiver reboot. This basic troubleshooting step can resolve many temporary glitches and communication errors. If a simple reboot doesn't work, you may need to perform a factory reset. However, be aware that this will erase all your custom settings, recordings, and preferences, returning the receiver to its original state. For advanced troubleshooting, if you have multiple receivers, try swapping them between locations. This helps determine whether the problem is with the receiver itself or with the cable line and connections. If none of these steps resolve the issue, it's time to contact Shaw Direct customer support. Professional assistance may be needed for dish alignment problems or LNBF issues. That's the eye of the dish that receives the satellite signal.